Hey students, Mr. Fisher here. Aloha as we prepare for our spring break here. I hope everyone's staying safe and everyone's doing well. In our entrepreneurship class, we've created a cool logo and we're going to want to be able to put that logo on things like business cards for ourselves and even shirts that have like a nice logo that you'd have your employees wear. You might even want to sell t-shirts to people. Who knows? The possibilities are endless. Let me show you how to get started with all that. Hopefully you uh, made your own logo in Adobe Spark. That's so much better than anything else you're going to do. Um, I'm on Vistaprint. They're really business cards and stickers, but they have a bunch of other stuff. So I'm going to show you how I can put my logo that I made as embroidery on a shirt. So I'll go in here and go to a men's polo shirt. You could do uh, whichever shirt you like, anything you like. I'll click on that. I'm kind of racing the bell here, so hopefully the bell doesn't ring. I can see lots of parents outside waiting to pick their kids up. I selected that shirt. I'm going to make that shirt in athletic heather, so not quite white. All right. I'm going to just pick out a size. I'm not logged in. I don't have an account, nothing like that. And I'll click Start Design. The cool thing is you can design it on here and then preview it and save an image. And you can, might want to use that later on a website or who knows what for class. So I'll just quickly select this. Use your uh, completed design. Upload it. And let's see. This is going to be like on the pocket of the shirt. So I will click Upload Your Design. Add Image. Um, just click Next. And then My Computer choose image so this is the logo I came up with in the previous lessons for my cedar shed business it's kind of a play off of Powell Peralta skateboards but um, I checked their little swoosh is slightly different and it's not even trademarked so should be good in real life um, there's no issue it's not like I took the Nike swoosh something really iconic that's trademarked um, in fact, the logo that I chose with my little wave was um, just clip art inside of Adobe. So check it out. It just changed my logo into embroidery. And I can zoom in and take a closer look at it. Really nice. Not amazing. It kind of is a little bit flawed here, but pretty good for a shirt pocket. This is the magic right here for any of the products. Click Preview. There it is on the shirt. I'm going to right-click Save Image As. I'll call it Cedar Shed Shirt. And now I've got that saved on my computer. So many cool things there. So Vistaprint is a great place to do this kind of work. For our class, we want to be, maybe have pens to give away, just like a bank would. Um, maybe we want to have our business cards for sure. You'll see that they have literally thousands of products you can add your custom logo to. I hope this is fun for you. Marketing is a big part of getting your customers to buy from you. So. Um, Enjoy it, and thanks for watching. Aloha.